Back cut teh, also spelled ba cut teh, Chinese, ru gu cha pei, h o g, ba cut te, teochu dialect, neg 8 gug 4 de 5 is a pork rib dish cooked in broth popularly served in Malaysia and Singapore where there is a predominant hoklo and teochu community, and also in neighboring areas like Riau Islands and southern Thailand. The name literally translates from Hokkien dialect as meat bone tea and at its simplest, consists of meaty pork ribs simmered in a complex broth of herbs and spices including star anise, cinnamon, cloves, dang gui, fennel seeds and garlic for hours. Despite its name, there is in fact no tea in the dish itself. The name refers to a strong oolong Chinese tea which is usually served alongside the soup in the belief that it dilutes or dissolves the copious amount of fat consumed in this pork-laden dish. However, additional ingredients may include offal, varieties of mushroom, choy sum, and pieces of dried tofu or fried tofu puffs. Additional Chinese herbs may include yuzu, yuzu rhizome of Solomon's seal, and juji, buckthorn fruit, which give the soup a sweeter, slightly stronger flavor. Light and dark soy sauce are also added to the soup during cooking, with varying amounts depending on the variant. The Teochew's version is lighter than the Hokkien's. The dish can be garnished with chopped coriander or green onions and a sprinkling of fried shallots. In Malaysia, it is often served with strips of fried dough called uchar kue or utiao, 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 in Mandarin. Soy sauce, usually light soy sauce, but dark soy sauce is also offered sometimes is preferred as a condiment, with which chopped chili patty and minced garlic is taken together. Tea of various kinds, for example the Tiguanyin, Taiguanyin, Taiguanyin variety which is popular in the Klang Valley area of Malaysia, is also usually served in the belief that it dilutes or dissolves the copious amount of fat consumed in this pork-laden dish. Back cut teh is typically eaten for breakfast, but may also be served as lunch. The Hokkien and Teochew are traditionally tea-drinking cultures and this aspect runs deep in their cuisines. History Back cut teh is commonly consumed in both Malaysia and Singapore. The origin of back cut teh is unclear, but it is believed to have been brought over from Fujian, China. In Malaysia, the dish is popularly associated with Klang, and locals knows the place to be the origin of back cut teh. There are a number of claims for the invention of the dish. One claimed that a local sinsa, a Chinese physician, invented the dish in the 1930s, while another claimed he brought the recipe from his hometown Fujian, China, in the 1940s. The dish is also claimed to have been invented in Port Klang for coolies working at the port to supplement their meager diet and as a tonic to boost their health in the early 20th century. The dish was popular among early Chinese immigrants, many of whom had also come from Fujian. The Teochew variant was developed in Singapore and was sold in the Clark Key and River Valley areas after World War II. By the 1960s, back cut teh had become a popular street fair in Singapore. Certain business has been focused mainly on serving this dish, and developed their business from humble pushcart into a restaurant chain. The Chinese word back, ru which means, meat or more specifically pork, is the vernacular pronunciation in Hokkien, but not in Teochew which pronounced it as neck, suggesting an original Hokkien root. The question of its origin has been the subject of a dispute between Malaysia and Singapore. In 2009, the tourism minister of Malaysia, Ng Yen Yen, claimed that back cut teh is a dish of Malaysian origin, and that neighboring countries had hijacked many of Malaysia's original dishes. Topic. Varieties There are numerous variants of back cut teh with its cooking style closely influenced by the prevailing Chinese enclave of a certain geographical location. There are three types of back cut teh. The Teochew style, which is light in color but uses more pepper and garlic in the soup. The hoklo Hokkien, uses a variety of herbs and soy sauce creating a more fragrant, textured and darker soup. The Cantonese, with a soup drinking culture, add medicinal herbs as well to create a stronger flavored soup. The main visual difference between the Hokkien and Teochew version of back cut teh is that the Hokkien's use more dark soy sauce and thus the soup base is characteristically darker in color. In addition, a dry form of back cut teh has also recently become increasingly popular within Malaysia, especially in Klang town. 
Although called dry, the broth is in fact reduced to a thicker gravy, to which other ingredients such as wolfberries, dried dates, dried chilies and dried squid are added. Unlike the original rib soup, the dry version has a tangier, sharper taste and is more akin to a herbal stew than the classical broth. It is often recommended locally in Malaysia as an excellent hangover cure. In Malaysia, a less fatty variation of back cut teh made with chicken instead of pork is called chick cut teh. It also serves as a halal version of the dish catered to Muslims, whose religion forbids them to consume pork. Vegetarian back cut teh also can be found in Malaysia. Instead of using pork or chicken, oyster mushroom is used. Topic. National record On November 22, 2008, the Malaysian Klang Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry KCCCI collaborated with five back-cut TEH sellers in Klang to cook the world's biggest bowl of back-cut TEH. The bowl was 182.88 cm in diameter and 91.44 cm in height, and containing 500 kg of pork, 450 kg of soup and 50 kg of herbal medicine, and has been listed in the Malaysian Book of Record. See also Sekba List of Chinese soups List of soups <laughs>